theme music. Well, hello, or well, howdy. Um, I'm back after a long break from not making videos, and uh, I just got back from a wonderful trip with three good friends, a uh, long distance trip for me, uh, on the bikes, all four of us were on bikes, and we basically toured in and around New England, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, uh, had a great trip. And um, it kind of is the impetus for a group of videos I'm going to do. And I'm going to start with one video tonight on a seat. But um, the idea of the series of next few videos I'm going to do over the next few weeks, hopefully, is to cover off some of the modifications or farkles I've done to my bike and the winners and the losers. Now, I'll be right up front with you. I've bought some real dogs from time to time, whether it's uh, modifications to bikes I've owned over the years, Farkles, uh, some of the outerwear I've worn on my bikes have been uh, not so good. I've bought some great things that have worked out perfectly for me, but I've also bought some really, really bad ones. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know I've installed a sergeant seat on this bike. Uh, and I love sergeant seats. I've owned no less than five sergeant seats over the last 35 years. Um, a sergeant, in my opinion, makes probably one of the best aftermarket seats you can buy. They make a complete seat. It comes with a seat pan, broadened seat pan, actually broader than the stock OEM seat, with excellent, excellent fit and finish, good quality, very durable, and very, very comfortable. Vast improvement over what comes out of the factory on this thing. However, it's a standard aftermarket seat. It's not custom made for each rider. It's basically an improvement over stock because it's, uh, it's broader, it's more dished, and it's sloped away from the tank. The foam is much better quality, it's firmer. It's designed to allow you to ride your RT or whatever, mark, whatever particular mark you're riding. It's designed to allow you to ride it longer than you could on the stock seat, and it's great. However, I've taken it one step further. This is a stock passenger seat. This is a Russell Daylong seat, a custom seat. Now, Russell, unlike Sargent, makes custom seats one at a time for each individual buyer. They are a less expensive alternative to a Sargent seat. However, they require your stock seat pan. In other words, you gotta take the seat off your brand new motorcycle, send it off to them. They in turn will contact you and they'll get some pictures of you on the bike. They'll have you fill out a detailed application form. In other words, asking your height, your weight, your inseam, the kind of riding you do. Um, and they in turn will build a sprung seat. In other words, there's actual metal supports inside the seat on your stock seat pan They'll put cushioning, foam on it, and then they'll upholster it. And there's a few options you can choose. This is a very basic option. But what you get is a seat that's specifically designed for you and your body. Now, comfort is a subjective thing. Uh, I know for me personally, in my experience, is that on the stock BMW RT seat, I can put two to three hours, no problem perfectly comfortable, perfectly happy. Once I get beyond that point, if I'm on a Sergeant, for example, I can extend that range out to six hours. Now, of course, there's bathroom breaks and fuel up breaks in there. Beyond six hours on the Sergeant seat, my rear end gets a little sore. I gotta move around. I get a little pain in the center. I get pain on the back of my legs, pressure points around my rear end. However, on this seat, on this Russell Custom seat, I can extend it out non-stop and the seat becomes a non-issue for me. In other words, I don't notice no matter how long I've ridden. Now, in this particular last week, we did eight hour days, six hour days, 12 hour days, no problem whatsoever. I don't feel any pain. I don't have to move around. Now, one thing about a custom seat is you're pretty much, it's designed for you and you in particular, it's designed for you to stay pretty much in one spot for the whole day. Um, but that being said, I was perfectly comfortable. Now the aesthetics of this 
can affect some people. Some people call this a tractor seat. Now, there's a little bit of old wisdom in that, is that those tractor seats were designed for farmers to sit in them all day long. This has that same very, very broad, broad rear end, okay, with dished up on either side, and lots and lots and lots of support, okay? And then it narrows in where your legs have to reach forward down towards the bottom. When I bought this, I was warned by the manufacturer that this would take about 500 to 1,000 miles to break in, specifically this area here at the front where my legs go down. I experienced no such discomfort. It was really, my very first ride with it uh, was about six hours, and uh, it was incredibly comfortable the whole way down. Incidentally, Russell, the manufacturer of this particular custom seat, incorporated the stock heating element. So this plugged right in underneath, just like the stock seat did, exactly the same with the same heat performance. So when I turn this on, the heat feels the exact same as the stock seat did. Very, very pleased. Now, let's talk about price. The price for this was actually less than a replacement aftermarket seat. So what you're buying is a service as opposed to a seat. So they take your stock seat, modify it, send it back to you. And um, that's what you're buying and that's why it's less expensive. Buying a custom seat like this has a few drawbacks. First drawback is you have to send off your stock seat. And if you don't have a replacement, your bike will be out of commission for a while. Secondly is the lead time. The lead time for me was nine months. In other words, I had to notify Russell that I wanted a seat and then they put me in their calendar for a period nine months later. So it's not something you can get right away. Third thing is the aesthetics of one of these in general. Some people don't like the look of them. Um, and because you're pretty much locked in one position, and that's the way they're designed, to be most comfortable in one sort of sitting position, um, if you're one of these riders that rides aggressively and slides from one side of the seat to the other, you'll find this seat probably not real good for that. In fact, it will prevent you from doing that kind of riding if you like to move around on your bike. That could be an issue as well. Third thing is resale. Now, because this is a custom seat, it's really designed for somebody my size, my weight, my type of riding, my position on the bike, my inseam, very, very specific parameters. Now, I've seen a lot of these things go pretty quick when they're put up for sale. But when you buy something like this that's custom cut for you, there's a good chance it's only going to appeal to you. That's not such a bad thing for me. You know, I was riding this week with one particular fella, and he does a lot more miles than I do. He does many, many more miles. He rides for much longer days, and he, his riding season is much longer than mine. So I tend to take his opinion with a little more weight than some others. And his comment was this. He said, you know, this is my leisure time. And I ride long and I ride hard. And if something doesn't work, I change it right away. It goes. It's off the bike. I upgrade. I make sure that I'm comfortable first and foremost. And comfort's really important. And that's kind of the preamble of the videos that I'm going to post over the next few weeks. A seat like this, which increases your comfort, your body's in less pain or discomfort, I guess a better way to put it. It makes you more relaxed, it reduces that rider fatigue, and as such, probably makes you safer. Um, I know for me, it was a huge difference. I noticed when I got on the seat right away, it was very, very comfortable, and I was waiting for that six or seven hour pain to start kicking or discomfort, and it never happened. It never happened right into the nighttime. It was wonderful, and it got to the third or fourth day of riding with this thing, I didn't even think of my rear end. It was just a non-issue. Much the same as my feet and my shoes, the clothing I wear and my gloves. They're just non-issues. They're not posing discomfort. So one by one, as you deal with these discomfort issues, uh, whatever they might be, whether it's noise or pressure points on your body somewhere or discomfort with some of your clothes, as you deal with them, you can start narrowing down the other things that are causing you discomfort, which makes your riding day longer and more enjoyable. And that's the idea. Anyway, this is the winner. So this is done. I finally found the perfect seat. After all these years, I finally found the perfect seat and I'm very happy. Anyway, until next time.